thought that this next video could be just a touch more lighthearted and I'm gonna answer some questions so that you can get to know me a little bit more. So, first question. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Batemans Bay, which is on the south coast of New South Wales in Australia. Really small town and I lived there till I was four years old when my family moved all the way up to North Queensland. What is your middle name? Uh, my middle name is Louise, probably no surprises there as it's in the name of my channel and the name of my Instagram and it's family name carried down from my mama as well. Question number three. What is your favorite song at the moment? Uh, look, must say I'm pretty obsessed with Light On by Maggie Rogers, but I can't pick a song that's a favorite right now because Taylor Swift just released her new album Folklore and I have been listening to it on repeat uh, since it dropped. So highly, highly recommend. I'm a big T-Swift fan. Question number four. What is your favorite book series? No surprises here. Um, Harry Potter is the best book series can't say that I agree with JK Rowling's opinions at the moment on Twitter. What a shame. I really wish that she would just stop, um, but I absolutely adore her book series. Question number five. What is your favorite fiction book from the last year? I really liked The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart and there is an amazing book by a first-time author. I don't remember her name, but the book is called A Lifetime of Impossible Days. And another book, I'm not picking one, by the way, uh, that I really, really loved, was recommended to me by my favorite chick at the bookstore, and it's called The Night Circus. So yeah, you could say I'm a little bit of a fan of magical realism in the fiction realm. Next question. What is your favorite color? At the moment, it is all natural shades of green. Anything that's nature related really helps to earth and ground me, but I also really love terracotta and turmeric and all those earthy kind of tones too. But green, I would say, is the front running favorite. Question number seven, where have you traveled? I'm not super well traveled. Uh, outside of Australia, I have been to Thailand. My dad lives there. I've been to North America. I've been to Hawaii. And I have also been to Hong Kong and Macau with a little brief stopover in Singapore. Where do you want to travel? Question number eight. I have a British passport, so it's always been somewhere that I have wanted to travel. So UK, Europe, um, they would definitely be the top of my travel list. I would love to go to the coast of Italy, love to go and visit my friends in Paris, visit family in England, see London. That general corner of the world would be probably my biggest interest in travel. Next question. Ooh, question number nine. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I really love What Mia Did Next. I think she is wonderful and straight to the point in terms of recovery. Eating disorder wise, I really, really, really have found great support in Megzi recovery, but I don't think she's posting videos on YouTube, but highly recommend following her on Instagram. And in terms of how she makes her videos and the quality of her videos, I really do enjoy Sarah's day, but content warning, anyone who struggles with their relationship to exercise or has orthorexic kind of tendencies, you might find uh, her content to be triggering because she is a little bit focused on working out and 
like less so her aesthetics than she was in the past and I think there's some really wonderful information from her but just be really mindful when you're watching her content and skip the bits that are not helpful to you. Question number 10 of 20. So we're halfway. What are some of your favorite TV series? Okay, I've got a few. Really, really love Grace and Frankie. I really love renovation shows like Good Bones and Fixer Upper. I would really love for Chip and Joe to do some more series of Fixer Upper, please. Thank you. Yep, just a request from me. I have enjoyed watching Orange is the New Black. I loved Grey's Anatomy in my teenage years. Can't go wrong with watching the OC. I loved that. I know that I'm missing some. I like good girls. Love anything with badass women in it. And what is the other one? Working mums. I've enjoyed some of that as well. Oh, question 11. Tea or coffee? Is it a question? Not for me coffee all the way. Oh, 12. What sports have you played? So growing up, I primarily did gymnastics and I did a little spot of swimming, a little spot of dancing when I was young. And then in high school, I was a competitive trampolinist and did athletics through school. And then post high school, I went back to dancing, became a professional dancer. And yeah, I guess that's my sports that I've done. Mm, 13, do you speak any languages? It depends if Oka Aussie counts. I don't speak any foreign languages, but some people might perceive my Aussie accent as being a foreign language, but it is in fact English. <laughs> 14, what is your go-to hairstyle? Don't think this really needs any explaining. Little messy, whatever, bun situation with a bit of a rat's tail hanging from it is my go-to. And that's pretty much the only way that you'll see me wearing my hair. Ooh, I like this one. 15, what is one thing that most people wouldn't know about you? <laughs> I have a man or woman made belly button. Yeah. Number 16. Do you remember your very first email address? Yes. Is it embarrassing? I'll leave that up to you to decide. It was sweet underscore cool underscore n, the letter n underscore flexi at hotmail.com now as an adult mm, not sure entirely of the appropriateness of that <laughs> but we thought me and my friends that it was a good idea um, because I was a gymnast and it was sweet cool and flexi um, really glad that I did not have any internet predators pop into my inbox just gonna say that you're at a party am I mm. where are we most likely to find you Depends if there are one, small children, or two, dogs. I'm gonna be in either of those places, probably in the quietest spot in the house. 18, scary movie or chick flick? Again, for me, not a question. There is absolutely no way in hell that you will catch me watching a scary movie. Number 19, what is something weird that you can do? I can do many weird things, but something that most people probably can't do, I know some people can, is I can make that three leaf clover with my tongue. Yeah, a bit weird. Which brings us to the last question, number 20. Do you have any pets? I think you know the answer to that question. Just have a little look at the picture for my channel. I do indeed have a pet. I have a three year old Cocker Spaniel Cross Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Ruby and I love her so very much. She gives the best cuddles. She also does 
infuriate me at times, but she is also just so wonderful. So I think that that is the perfect place to leave it today. And if you have any more questions or things that you'd like to know about me to get to know me, please feel free to shoot me a comment or an inbox message or an email. I really hope that you enjoyed getting some of this insight from me today and I will be back with you again next week with a new video and if you have any requests please do let me know thanks you guys bye now